It's storming out very badly today. I, um, I decided to have my leftover soup from Sunday when I had cottage cheese and cheese and added both to the soup that I made. Mmm. Which is my normal soup base. This is called extra treat soup, and like I said, I only get cheese and cottage cheese when I go to the grocery store, you know, every couple weeks or so. Um, so this is treat soup. It has organic cottage cheese in it, and it has organic regular cheese in it. It's a Mexican blend. It's set on it. Horizon brand organic. And then it has the spices, and I added a can of kidney beans and a can of black beans. And spices. And red pepper hummus. Organic red pepper hummus. Hummus is another thing that, you know, I got four of them, but they don't last forever, you know. And then when they're gone, they're gone. You know, I don't buy more until I go grocery shopping again. Later on, before 8 o'clock, I'll make my shake. I originally was going to have, make the shake have, I just could, wasn't, didn't, it takes a long time to make the shake, I just didn't feel like I was hungry. I was going to have half a shake, apple sunflower seeds, half a shake, apple sunflower seeds, and that's all I was going to have. And then at night during the voice, I was going to make some Coco Mojo and some tea. I'm having some green, yogi green tea right now. I put two organic stevias in it because I wanted it sweet. Organic packets instead of using the, the liquid. Because I have two boxes of the organic stevia and, you know, I need to use that up too. The liquid's more expensive anyway. I just got hooked on it because. Joe never used the liquid, he only used the powder, the packets, and it's a hell of a lot easier to use the liquid. Oh, oh this has sour cream in it. Horizon Brown. Organic sour cream, of course. Um, storming out badly today. Unfortunately for Omar, I, we were out for quite a while for afternoon walk, afternoon poo-poo. I gave him ample time. He did the dance at least, at least four times. He did the dance a few times. And then did it go, and then what do you think happened? We started feeling droplets. And then he wouldn't go. He's in the cage right now. He went in the cage. Some people had to come over to do something for my roommates. So we had to go in the cage anyway. Oh, my dad. Um, my roommate's dog went into his bedroom. Um, but, but Omar was in the cage before that, and Omar's still in the cage. Because he didn't go poo-poo outside. And I'm trying not to wreck his perfect record. Although, if it's not letting up, I thought maybe it would. But it's not, so... I like black beans and garbanzo beans better than kidney beans. I liked kidney beans in my mom's world famous chili that she used to make for family things and whatnot, and I even got the recipe and made it for back in LA. Um but I like black beans and garbanzo better than kidney, but the kidney need to be eaten, you know. I don't waste food, so if I can help it anyway. So what I was saying before, you know, about the giant shovel and shovel the shit and whatnot, I'm saying in, periodically in the other videos. Remember I told you about that guy? When I go to the gym, I go there to work out. I don't care if you look like Brad Pitt. I don't want to be hit on. I go to the gym to work out, period, period, okay? I didn't even happen to be attracted to this guy, but that's a side issue. 
I go to the gym to work out, not to make friends, not to meet men, nothing, okay? So I told you about that guy. Sure, I can I can have a little bit of small talk with you because we're chatting while I'm walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the pool and getting exercise, okay? Get it? We chatted about my big feet. I think he said something to me like, like, you're really tall. You know, because he knows I'm in bare feet. I'm not in shoes in the, in the pool. He's like, you're really tall. I'm like, yeah, and I have, I have side, big feet. You know, I, I joke around with him. But, uh, so, next thing you know, I, mean, I was chit-chatting with him while I was exercising. Okay. Next thing you know, he's inviting me to go into the Bally's jacuzzi. Okay. There was nobody in there. I looked over, and he's like, you want to go in the jacuzzi? I'm like, I said, no. So then he starts asking me questions, and I want to exercise. It's the bottom line. I'm there at that gym to exercise, period, not to make friends, not to, you know. Finally, I said to him, look, I'm, I don't, I said something like, I don't want to be rude or something, but I am here to exercise, not to get hit on. I'm not hitting on you. Oh, come on, give me the, come on, I wasn't born under a rock, I wasn't born yesterday. You invited me to go into the jacuzzi all alone. There was nobody in there. Of course you're hitting on me. And then he's like, I'm not hitting on you. I'm just, I'm just making conversation or whatnot. Or, and then something, I think I said something. He says, I'm not asking, and I said, I don't, I don't know if, I ever forget the details, but I said something like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be asked questions. Like, I'm not asking you personal questions. I said, I don't want to answer any questions. I don't want to be asked any questions. And then he has to go and be snide with me. Snide. Mumbling, or you like, and he said, said to me, he's like, you're not even all that beautiful. Uh-huh. And your point is, what's your point being? Who cares? I didn't hit on you. You were hitting on me. You could deny it all you want. I didn't approach you. You're not even all that beautiful. Fuck you. Get out of my face. You know, you're showing your true colors. You get it? Give me the giant shovel and I'll shovel the shit people have tried to feed me over the course of my lifetime. You know, first we're chit-chatting and whatnot, and then, oh, you want to go in, in the jacuzzi with me? No. And then you're upset, you know. And and then you're going to, oh, you're not even all that beautiful. Uh-huh. And your point being, did I say to you I'm all that beautiful? Does it matter? I'm here to work out. I'm not here to be hit on. Go away. Okay. And the fact of the matter is, as I've told you, even now, it hasn't, it's not, it hasn't changed. It never changes. It just gets worse. But back then, I'm homeless, penniless, on welfare, living with my abusive ex and his mother. Living rent-free with the man who nearly killed me and didn't care, okay? Any question you ask him is a loaded question. He was asking me. I'm just. He's like, I'm just making conversation. And these are the. These. That's what people do. These are the questions you ask. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Where? Do, you know, all these loaded questions. I don't want to answer any questions. I don't. You know. They would be loaded questions to to this day. Um, that's the way it goes, right? Joe taught me I'm so stuck. No. That's why tea is good. I'm supposed to. There's tea you can sip. You're not, I've learned you're not supposed to drink a lot of water during a meal either. And you're supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to put it down and then have some, have some drink, have some tea so I'm not just eating it too fast. Don't you believe that shit? First, try and, you know, that's why there are some women and some experts and some whatever say you can't even be nice to men. Oh, you can't even be nice to men. You give them an inch and they want a mile. You know, you can't even, or else they just, they, they, it's just ridiculous. 
I'll give you another example. I was late for my court appointment. I was in a pissy mood, obviously. Had to wait for the bus, I think in the rain. I looked like hell. I hadn't put any makeup on, nothing. Okay. I know it was late, but I showed up because I had read or heard or someone had told me. A lot of times the cops don't even show up. These were stupid color city assholes who who had, had, had given me a jaywalking ticket for no goddamn reason. I had waited and waited at a light that never changed, but in retrospect, I had been drinking a little bit, but that, that wasn't the reason I got the ticket. Maybe I'd forgotten to press the button, but there was no one around. It was one of those stupid things. I like the ones that change no matter what. You press the button or not, it changes to walk. It didn't change to walk. They had nothing better to do, those assholes. There was no cars coming whatsoever. Um, and to them, I had ran across the street at the last minute with the orange. No. I had waited and waited till it turned green. It just didn't turn to walk because I forgot to press the goddamn button. That's all. It was green. I had a green light. It just didn't have a walk signal. You know? Well, anyway, I showed up in court and they didn't, so it got dropped. I didn't feel like doing the community service again. I went that route the last time. You know? I went that route the last time, and I and I showed up, and that time the cops they they someone rep some, they did show up. If they don't show up, they it's the thing is dropped. Mm. And I, you know, I pleaded guilty and I asked for community service because I had no money. I think that's how it worked. Oh no, I had to sign up ahead of time. I didn't even risk the cops not showing up or not or blah, blah, blah. I, they have to know ahead of time if you're going to plead, I think, if you want community service, you have to tell them. You can't wait to see if the cops show up or not. This time I decided to risk it. And they didn't show up. And it was dropped. This time I must have, for whatever reason, had a little extra money. I don't know. Mm. Or I just didn't care and decided to risk it. Um. But in any case, I'm getting there. Mm. I'm in a pissy mood, of course. I'm late. Because the bus was late. The bus didn't come on time or whatnot. You know, and I get there and I... This foreign guy... Is, starts hitting on me right in the courtroom. I happen to sit next to him. He starts hitting on me. And later I was bitching in the bathroom to this woman. I'm like, it's ridiculous. You know, I'm, I'm here to... For... For... To... Because... You know, because I broke the law, and you're going to fucking hit it on me? And she just looked at me. She's like, that's what you get for being beautiful. That's what she said to me, you know. Like, deal with it, you know. But there's a time and a place for everything. We're supposed to be quiet, and you're talking to me. We're supposed to be quiet, and you're inviting me here or there or hitting on me or whatnot. Court, it had already started, and he, it just, leave me a fuck alone. This isn't a bar, this is a fucking courtroom, you know. Leave me the fuck alone, I have no interest in you anyway. Yeah, I think you had to sign up. I think when I got caught drinking the Steel Reserve beer behind the local right and the cop caught me acting like I was kid, been caught killing somebody or something. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. It's not the crime of the century. You caught me. Let me sign whatever I need to sign, but don't act like I'm the fucking worst criminal in history because I'm drinking one stupid beer. I'm not even drunk. I'm drinking one fucking beer behind the right, you know. Ridiculous.
And I think you have to tell them a little when you get the thing. You have to tell them whether you're going to ask. I think you do. Maybe not. I forget. This is the first time I'd ever gotten any ticket for anything in my life. I remember I used to drive, but I, like I was telling my roommate the other day when we were driving, I'm like, yeah, because we were seeing people speed by us on the highway or whatnot, and I'm like, yeah, I never did anything like that. I did blast my music in my car, but I never went more than five miles above the speed limit ever, ever, ever. The, the one that everybody goes, you know. Never. Doesn't seem like it's going to let up. I still hear it. I don't think it's going to let up. I can try having Omar out in the rain, but chances are he's not going to go. Only once in a blue moon will he take a dump in the rain. It, it has happened if he's providing you know he really really has to go and you know he does have to go I hope he doesn't go in the damn cage you know he has to go he did the dance but more than twice more than you know a few times I got scolded by our neighbors neighbors that aren't the land on this property you know what I mean that, that I aren't this apartment building I got scolded they like no, nicely though, and I said I was sorry. It's because Omar's fussy. He go, I just wandered around. So nobody cared in the winter, but now he did. He comes out. He's like, I just want to let you know that this property line ends here, and this is actually our property. And you know, I'm gonna be doing this and that out in my yard, and I don't want. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. You know, I just wander around everywhere because Omar's fussy where he goes to the bath, where he wants to go to the bathroom. You know. So he and he was nice about it. He's like, I just want to let you know because. I'm going to be doing this, that, and I don't want you to be hanging out there. Or, yeah, you have every right. It's fine. I didn't know. It all looks the same to me. If I did know, in the back of my mind, maybe I didn't think it mattered. You know, that's the thing. But it does, so that's fine. I'm not going to be upset. I can find other places. There's plenty of places around here. Now that it's warm, even for, instead of wandering around the yard, I'll, I'll walk down the street and stuff, you know. In the winter, I didn't do that. In the winter, I just went out in the yard. Green tea, super antioxidant. You know, even before I switched over to all organic and GMO or 99.9, I'm not perfect in this, you know. Far from perfect anyway, but I mean, in life in general, obviously, but you know, in the non GMO organic, um, I mean, I, 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 I um, cheat, why not? But, um, I mean, before I start all that, I still, over the course of my lifetime, and my adult lifetime, no, I mean, I eat, ate healthy relatively. So when I said in that other video, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said what I said, like, you know, but in a, it is true. You know, I always ate, ate healthy um, for the most part. But, but these people who think, and they stressed this in that awesome documentary that my mom left too, you know, see how I wanted, I tried to stimulate her mind with Netflix movies that weren't just fluff. That obesity epidemic one that came out several years ago, um, she loved it too. And she, she, she didn't understand some of it and I explained it to her and she really enjoyed it. Um, Marion would never think she, my mom could, was, would even be capable of comprehending something like that. But I wanted to see it for myself, and I said, Mom, you can watch this if you want. You're not going to understand some of it, probably, but I explained some of the deeper things to her. Um, the thing with the dangers is that they're putting the damn fruit, the corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup in every fucking thing we eat, everything imaginable, you know. I got her to understand. Um, but when I said, you know, people 
who think they can subsist on fast food and then they're going to be shocked if they come down with a disease like cancer. So most, sometimes you get cancer and, and I've known, sometimes people get cancer who who do everything right, you know. But you're, you're, you're lessening your odds of, of, you're increasing your odds of coming down with some kind of disease. You know, if you eat a bunch of red meat and cholesterol and all that, it can be heart disease if you do this, that, whatever. And, you know, I'm not saying ban all junk food. I'm saying people who think they can subsist on nothing but unhealthy food are asking for trouble down the line. And I related that, I related that also to the fucking kibbles and bits that my roommate feeds his dog. It's crap. It's total crap. There are, are cheap dog foods out there that aren't at least, they, they're at least two or two and a half stars on the dog food advisor. Kibbles and bits is the lowest rating. It's pure crap. So chances are you, you only feed your dog kibbles and bits. Your dog's not going to live as long. You only eat at McDonald's all the time or feed yourself all bullshit fast food. Not once in a while, but you live on it. Chances are you're not going to live as long or you're going to come down with diseases down the line. That's not rocket science. Not rocket science. Our bodies need nutrients. You're not getting nutrients from some mystery meat at McDonald's and some wilted piece of lettuce and wilted tomato. You know, you're not. In caveman days, we get nutrients. We need berries and fruits and this and that and, and, and you know. And, and But even though I knew nothing until recently about the organic and the GMO and all that crap, just like a lot of people knew nothing until recently because it's coming to the forefront. Organic is becoming a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, um, the organic community. But I still knew, but even for losing weight's sake or whatnot, you know, or keeping my weight down, uh, that to eat relatively healthy, you know, so it's not that far of a step up to do all organic or mostly 99.9% .9 organic non-GMO from what I was doing before, you know, because I've always tried to eat relatively healthy. And I get checkups and I'm told I'm healthy. Not so healthy in here, but you know my body and stuff. I, all my tests come out normal, you know, including, like I said, surprisingly, never had an STD to speak of. Never been pregnant either. That's a miracle in of itself. Because had I become pregnant, I would have gotten abortion. Um, I never had to be faced with that. Thankfully, so. I wouldn't have had it lightly, but I would have had an abortion, I'm telling you. Now I know that I would have. And, uh, and the women who constantly have more than one abortion use it as a form of birth control. I mean, that's pretty sick to me, you know. I don't think abortion should be illegal, but I don't think it should be just, you know, you can have it any old time. You, you know, you can just use it because you're irresponsible. And definitely there shouldn't be abortion like six months into the trimester. I had read that before. This. Some people, God, some doctors are even doing that. And by then, you know, the baby is really born and whatnot. But I know had I gotten pregnant, I would, you know, I know I would have had an abortion. I have no desire to have kids and I had no desire to and carry a kid for someone else for nine months, you know. So, fortunately for me, I was never put in that position.
I would get my tubes tied. You're not allowed to get your tubes... I read about it years ago. You're not allowed to get your tubes tied unless you're somebody who... Unless they they actually know you can... You have to try to... I forget what it is. They don't let you just get your tubes tied. It's people... You have to try to get pregnant or, or something and then find it... I don't know. I forget the deal, but... They don't just let you get your tubes tied because you want to. From what I was reading, anyway. Maybe I can't even have kids. I don't know. I've never had any desire to put you. I'm not the normal woman. Definitely not the average woman, you know, in my mentality and whatnot. So, I know, had I found myself, you know, pregnant and alone and whatnot, I would have had an abortion. Now, had I gotten pregnant when I was with Joe all those years, the six years, so with Donald those eight years, then I probably wouldn't have had an abortion. You know what I mean? But I don't really feel like somebody like me who mental illness runs in my family and even directly with my mom, you know, I'm not so sure someone like me should have a child anyway. Donald used to, you know, cruel, be like, oh, you couldn't have a child anyway. You'd, you'd, your mind would kill it, you know. But you know what I mean? I believe I made the mature decision to not have kids based on the mental illness that runs in my family, based on my own mental illness. I mean, that's how I feel. Ignorant people, because I've experienced that even with a coworker before. African American co worker years and years ago, when I was in my 20s, you know, saying it's selfish to not have kids. Pfft. No. For a lot of people, it's selfish to have kids. You really, too many women have kids who shouldn't, okay? I, I feel that I did the mature, responsible thing by not having children. And I even wrote about it on Yahoo Answers, and different people said different things based on their mentality, you know? Some women have kids who never should. Um, and the fact of the matter is, at least I was mature enough to recognize the fact that I am not mature enough to have kids. I shouldn't have kids, and I didn't want kids, so I didn't have kids, period. That's the bottom line, you know? And asking why is like asking why the sun shines. You know, asking why the wind blows, why the sun shines, why the, the nighttime comes. You know, it just is what is. It just is what is. Just like my for now poem. It's, I say it right in that poem. No, it just is what it is. I'm trying to figure out why is like a lesson in futility, I think. Green tea's not bad. I think did I have I had it once before I tend to I know green tea is really good for you, but I didn't buy it until very until I moved here, I think. Or maybe I bought it one package at my mom's. Got left behind, though, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe this is what I bought it, purchased at my mom's. In any case, I know it's good for you to have green tea. I may have stayed away from green tea or steered clear of it for the most part because I, it has caffeine and I, I avoid caffeine, you know. Um, tonight during the voice I'll have another cup of tea but that'll be my nighty night tea. 
my, or my valerian root tea, all the ones I ordered recently from Vitacost at a great price, much cheaper, like a dollar something cheaper than the stores, with chamomile and lemon, and I ordered valerian root tea, and I have Yogi Calm, it has all the same kind of stuff in it, for sleepy and for calmness. And In a couple hours, I'll have my shake. Soup was good. I need to come up with a title for these seven, this series of seven videos that I created last night and today. An appropriate title. I was toying around with the thing like everything in my life, even starting when I was not even born yet, was leading for me to not ever take a breath. And yet, here I am 45 years later, so, and all I can say is why? 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 Why, why, why?